Hi, this is Dr. Don, back for part two of our debrief of the Quick Start. The next major thing you have to do is to create the graphic, the visualization of the data, all the things we just created. Now, notice here I scrolled on down to the part of the um, worksheet that has the big data chunk that will create our graphic. And it's pretty complicated. I'm going to walk you through how we do it. Uh, note that I've just simplified over here. I got rid of those temporary files from part one. We now just have the UN votes, 860,000 rows of 14 variables. And that's what we're calling here. If you've read the uh, uh, lab manual, we describe this funny looking thing there. That's the pipe operator. And it just stands it's a percentage greater than percentage. There's a shortcut key uh, that you can use to create that. But what it does, it just takes whatever is in the left side of it, here the UN votes data object, and then filters it. It's, in other words, it stands for and then again. So let's create a temporary object so I can show you what's going on. I'm just going to call it UN underscore TEMP. Use our assignment operator again. And now I'm going to the first thing, I'm going to run this first part of the code there. And what we're doing, we're taking UN votes, we're assigning it to a new data object, UN temp, and then we're filtering the data this function there, the percentage in percentage is a filter uh, code that says include only Russia, United States, and China. Ignore all the other countries. So I'm going to run that control enter. And if we look at UN temp, you can see it's only got 16,000 rows, 14, same 14 variables, but it's down to just Russia, and let's look at it here. If you scroll down through there, you'll begin to see it's just United States, Russia, and China. Everything else has been filtered out. So that's what that first row does. Next thing we're going to do, uh, we're using the mutate function here. And what that's doing, that's creating a new variable for us. We're going to call year. And the way we get that, we're taking the year that's out of the date. The date member had the month, day, year. We want to create a new variable that just has the year. So I'm going to highlight again everything up to the pipe operator. Run that. Control Enter. Now if we uh, look at it, we've, we're up to 15 variables. We've added a variable on the end there. That is just the year. Remember, we've taken this long, complicated date there and extracted just a year out of it to create that new variable. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we want to start setting up to calculate the percentage of yes votes. And we're going to do that by grouping by the country, and then the year, and then by the issue. And I'm going to run that next. Control enter. And it really is hard to see because it's we're setting something up. If we go back here and look at UN temp, you can't really see that we've done anything because that's just uh, storing that in the memory code group by. So with the next thing you will see, we're going to use the summarize function, and we want we're going to create a new variable called percent underscore yes, and it's going to be equal to the mean, which is the average, and that's the number of votes where the vote is identical, equal to, this double equal signs there, is yes. So I'm going to run that, and we should control enter. Now we look at the UN temp, 
you see we we reduced it down because we went through there we grouped it by country year and issue and then calculated the, the mean percent yes for that so that's getting us ready to start doing the plotting now I'm going to get rid of this temporary um, data frame there we don't need that when we're starting to plot we just want the UN votes so this first line you can see that we're starting to use the ggplot graphing function here after that pipe operator we've taken all the things we've done here and we're piping it into ggplot the first thing it does is mapping and that's what does the sheet of paper look like and aes stands for aesthetic that's in one of the videos you should have looked at there the x-axis will be year the y-axis percent yes and then the color will be the country so i'm going to take this and highlight all of that when you inside ggplot instead of the pipe operator we use a plus sign so i'm just going to control enter run and if we go down here you can see all we have is the blank sheet of paper with year on the x-axis and percent yes on the y-axis and we don't really have any uh, colors yet because we haven't included that. Next thing we're going to do is include geom point, point function. That's to put a dot everywhere that we've got a data point. Alpha stands for transparency. Point 0.4, in other words, it's about 40% solid. 100% would be uh, totally solid color. So I'm going to select this again and run it all the way to the plus sign control enter now if you look at our graph you can see we've got dots everywhere and remember we use color equal country and you can see over here it's added a, a legend china russia united states those are our colors so the next thing we're going to do we're going to manually change those colors that away from the standard colors we've got and we will just Select that part all the way to the plus sign again. Control Enter. And now we'll have purple, royal blue, and orange for our colors for Russia, United States, and China. Next thing we're going to do is to uh, plot some straight lines through this. We use a function called Geom Smooth. And the method, you can low S, don't worry about the technical stuff of that. You can look that up if you want to. And SE equal false, this talks with standard error, confidence intervals that you'll learn about later in the course. We don't want to plot those this time, so that's false. So I'm going to go back and highlight everything up to that plus, and then control enter. Now if we look at our graph down here, you can see we're, we've added those lines. Uh, a blue one, a purple, and an orange one. And so you can see what their percentage yes has done over the years. But it's kind of hard to make out because we got all those different issues. So we're going to use a function that's called facet wrap. And that's going to draw separate graphs for each issue. Remember, we filtered out for the issue. So I'm going to go back up here again, highlight everything, and go down to facet wrap by issue. Control enter. Now you can see we've got six issues that are plotted there. One of uh, uh, each, each one has a small graph. And the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to make the graph a little bit prettier. We're going to add a scale. We want the percentage here to be continuous uh, on the, uh, the percent. And then we want uh, labels, L-A-B-S function. We want the overall title, uh, percent yes votes, subtitle 46 to 2019. X is going to be labeled as the percent yes, excuse me, Y axis is percent yes, X axis label is year, and then we're going to have the colors of country. So we're going to run the entire thing this time. And I'm just going to click out up here and run that chunk and you can see now we've got those uh, labels the title 
two titles and subtitle added up there. We printed up the uh, legend over here and put it up to graph. So that's what we did there. You just can run step by step and you can see how when you're using ggplot, as you may have seen in that, that video, I hope you watch, that you're adding layers one on top of the other. You start with a plain sheet of paper, you label the axes, you tell it what type of geometry uh, you want, what, what, you have a point or a line, um, and then you just add on layer by layer with a plus sign. So that's the quick debrief of what we did in your remix. What you'll have to do, of course, we want you to change out Russia and China for two other countries. And you can pick those if you go back to your remix report there down at the bottom. There's the um, appendix. You can check the spelling. You can just uh, type in the search box for, you know, the name that you're looking for. Or you can go to the very bottom and just click through. You can find ones you want to use. That will tell you how it's spelled and written up. So I hope this is helpful. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.